And I don't know that it's about her laughing, because I agree, I think that would be very inappropriate and that that's something that they do to women. I think that she has gone on multiple occasions a little bit underprepared with, with some of the questions that she's been asked. Lester Holt asked her a pretty basic question that she couldn't answer. So I don't know if it's a staff thing, she's not prepared enough, perhaps she's not expecting the questions. I don't know what it is, but I think that's the issue. This is like the fourth or fifth time. What it is is that they constantly question the qualifications of black women, and that's why people are saying that she's unprepared. And oh, I disagree. I think she's you a You can very disagree, but that's woman. the truth of it. And so this is based in racism. This is based in misogyny. And we're talking about a woman that has extensive experience um, abroad, extensive experience as an attorney, expensive, extensive experience as, a, as a, <clears throat> the chief legal officer of, of our, one of our largest states in the country. But this is just something that I think happens to women and especially black women. They, they, they have an obsession over Kamala Harris laughing. Guess what? She laughs. I think it's a crutch she uses. This was a 50 minute, very serious, press conference, they always do this. They take Let the five seconds where she laughs yeah. and they play it over and over and over yeah. again. It's not like she spent 50 minutes that laughing. That was the final question.